Freight traffic in Europe. 75% of all transport runs in Europe are handled by truck, even though trucks as a mode of transport are responsible for over 20% of traffic-related emissions and congestion in Europe. They produce the highest CO2 emissions of all overland carriers. Europe's inland waterways are an alternative. However, inland barges account for as little as 6% of the total freight transport volume throughout Europe. And only 9% of total inland waterway shipping is carried on the Danube's catchment area, the Danube itself, and the Rhine Main Danube Canal. The 74,000 kilometers of inland waterways in Europe could be used considerably better and more efficiently by the available tonnage, as well as by new inland waterway tonnage. Inland waterways can theoretically be navigated around the clock, and they have a high volume of free capacity. Barges cause the lowest costs in terms of accidents, noise pollution, contaminants, and the climate, and can therefore make a significant contribution towards achieving the European Union's climate targets. Reasons for lack of use on the one hand are the natural conditions of the rivers in question. Low water depths and fluctuating fairway conditions result in lower transport speeds and therefore bottlenecks in the ship's potential capacity utilization. Other reasons are infrastructural in nature. Low bridges, non-standardized lengths of locks, and the low network density call for trucks or trains to be used upstream and downstream. With over 25 years' experience in European inland waterway transport, Kuna and Nagel Euroshipping is the leading barge operator for the Rhine Main Danube traffic. Inland waterway shipping has transport reserves that can contribute to the necessary relief of road and rail transportation. Whether a shipper has his goods transported by barge or not depends on two key factors, namely the time factor and even more importantly, the price factor. A well-established and functioning inland waterway infrastructure is necessary to take account of these two key factors. And this is where the problem begins. The inland waterway infrastructure is in urgent need of refurbishment. What good are the best technical vessels and electronic waterway tools to us if we cannot deploy them? In the coming years, therefore, priority will need to be assigned to extensive basic maintenance work and replacement investments will need to be made in order to ensure that inland waterways can be properly navigated. This is where policy makers will need to do their homework. If we continue to act as half-heartedly as we have done in the past, then this mode of transport will continue to lose and not be able to do justice to its actual assigned role as an indispensable growth driver for inland waterway shipping and for the economy as a whole. There is a huge gap between the infrastructures and actual performance capabilities of today's freight transport vessels. One of the most innovative approaches has been adopted by the News Mark II ship. The project, co-financed by the seventh research framework program of the European Commission, was faced not with one, but two challenges. Developing a barge that can transport both three layers of containers and bulk goods on as many days a year as possible, and operating in an energy efficient and environmentally compatible manner. In a series of tests conducted at a special facility for this, the Schiffsbautechnische Versuchsanstalt in Vienna, the efficacy of the design was confirmed. And it was possible to convince the leading classification and certification organization, DNVGL, in particular with regard to two central aspects. The activation of the ballast system of up to 800 cubic meters increases the number of operational transport days of containers in three layers on the route from Enns, Rotterdam, Enns, by up to 52 days a year. It is possible to pass the low bridges. The second aspect is the design of the aft section of the vessel with a special energy and drive system. Three redundant safety systems constitute the core of technical innovation. The LNG tank system, four generators in two engine rooms, two azimut drive systems. Compared to ships powered by diesel oil, News Mark II vessels use 20% less fuel. CO2 emissions are down by 51% 
and emissions of nitrogen oxides and combustion residues are reduced by over 90%. And a comparison of the energy needed to compare to trucks speaks for itself. This makes News Mark II the ideal cargo transport vessel on the route from Rotterdam to Constanta on the Black Sea. An exact analysis of the requirements of manufacturing companies as well as the existing port infrastructures clearly reveals that the port of ENDS and its trimodal orientation, waterway, rail, road, its storage area and state-of-the-art gantry crane is ideal as a transshipment hub. It divides the Rotterdam Constanta stretch into a western and eastern route. In two and a half years analysis and research work, the NEWS project studied the requirements of manufacturing companies in the catchment area of the Danube, combined with the technical specifications of NEWS Mark II. As a result, the NEWS route and cost planning tool was developed. In five modules, the optimized container liner service is calculated for the two routes Rotterdam Enns and Enns Constanta, even if the waterways are dredged to produce a further drought of only 20 centimetres, the number of 40-foot container transported on the western route will rise by 16 per cent. With the news Mark II vessel, a freight rate of less than 350 euros per container from Enns to Rotterdam is possible if the infrastructure is adjusted as follows. Lock systems to consist of double locks at a length of 185 meters each. A consistent drought of 2.50 meters must be ensured. The bridge passage heights for the three-layer container traffic must be adjusted to account for the active ballast water system of the Newsmark II ship. Inland waterway shipping and the concept of Newsmark II in particular provide technical solutions and substantial economy. Both can only be put to optimum use if national and EU policymakers understand the issue from a European perspective and implement it accordingly in political terms.